Similar to a boxer, position yourself with your feet, knees, hips, and shoulders directed toward a threat to maximize your body armor. Your feet should be spread approximately shoulder width apart, about as wide as your natural step. Step slightly forward, roughly two to eight inches, with your non-firing foot to get a stable, balanced position. Your knees should be slightly flexed and not locked to allow freedom of movement and blood flow. Your hips should be squared to your target in the closed position, pushing the butt out slightly. Making a V between the index finger and thumb of the firing hand forms the grip on the weapon. Place this grip as high on the back strap as possible. The index finger, or the trigger finger, is placed outside the trigger guard until you are ready to engage the target. The other three fingers are then wrapped around the pistol grip. Both the thumb of the firing and support hand point toward the target with the firing thumb stacked on the support thumb. For the pistol, ensure that the heel of the support hand is even with the heel of the firing hand by placing the support heel in the gap between the fingertips and the meaty portion of the thumb. This strengthens the weakest portion of the one-handed grip by stabilizing the firing hand. The fingers of the support hand are curled around the pistol grip over the top of the firing hand fingers and the knuckle of the index finger should be contacting the bottom of the trigger guard. This increases shooter stability and helps control recoil to keep the weapon on target. Presentation from the holster is the desired result of clearing the pistol from the holster and having it pointed at the threat in a smooth, safe manner. The presentation is taught in a four-step manner. Step one, the grip. Step two, pull and rotate. Step three, two hands on target. Step four, look. These four steps should be taught in a building block sequence in order to allow the shooter to be sure of each step and its execution, thus enabling them to draw the pistol in the most efficient manner and engage the threat. The only change to this is when the pistol is worn concealed, an extra step must be taken to get the concealment out of the way. To reholster, the steps are done in reverse order. Notice that the jacket has to be swept out of the way in order for the pistol to be accessed easily. This allows the pistol to be drawn without catching any clothing. Here, the cover garment has to be lifted first in order to clear the pistol of any clothing. The pistol should be decocked after the officer scans to ensure there are no more threats that exist. This should be done with the firing thumb. The thumb should be placed onto the manual safety and pressed downward to engage. Some officers with smaller thumbs will not be able to operate the safety with their firing thumb. An alternate method is to use the non-firing thumb in the same manner. At no time should the hammer be ridden forward after pulling the trigger. This could likely result in a negligent discharge. This type of holster is very popular throughout the Army. When drawing the pistol from the holster, it is extremely important that the finger is kept straight throughout the draw. If the finger is bent, there is a possibility that it will contact the trigger and allow it to be pulled during the drawing motion. In the firing position, the weapon is held in both hands and elevated with the arms extended and locked to a position allowing the shooter to hit the threat center mass. The shooter should attempt to keep both eyes open. This position is used to cover targets or when a threat exists, engage. In the low ready position, the weapon is held in both hands with the arms extended to a comfortable position and the muzzle pointed in a manner that allows the shooter to see the suspect's hands and or the waist area of the adversary. The shooter's weapon should also be low enough to allow him to see any potentially dangerous objects. This position is used when a threat does not exist, but the officer member still needs to see a threat area or scan for threats. The close-in ready is a weapons position that should only be used at a distance closer than two meters. Hold the pistol grip with the firing hand. Safety is off and the weapon is on the firing side high in the chest rib area. Direct the muzzle toward the threat and pull slightly back to avoid flagging the weapon. The firing elbow should be tight to the center of the body and the firing forearm parallel to the ground. The firing wrist should be locked and not bent. The weapon will be turned naturally out away from the body to avoid the side hitting the body armor or getting snagged on clothing causing a malfunction. Use the support hand to assist with other tasks or if the support arm is not needed to do other tasks, it should be positioned with a hand near the chest with the forearm at an angle. The support arm should be in a position to block, strike, or join the firing hand in the two-handed firing grip. The Sewell weapon position is not a ready position. 
It is a safe position that is to be used in situations where there is no threat area to cover with your weapon, or when officers may be passing across or working in your area of responsibility. With the pistol, the weapon is held in the firing hand at high chest level, with the muzzle pointed down between the feet and the trigger finger straight and off the trigger. The shooter's elbow should be tucked into the body. The support hand should be placed flat against the chest. The first knuckle of the firing hand, middle finger, and the first knuckle of the support hand index finger should be touching. These two knuckles are the shooter's index and should remain in contact so the shooter can more accurately come to the fine grip without having to adjust his hands. When gripping the magazine, your forefinger should lay on the rounded side as high up as possible. The rest of your fingers should wrap around and secure a firm grip on the magazine. The flat part of the magazine should be as exposed as possible to allow for visual placement into the magazine well. If your pistol is in the holster, conduct a proper draw, then relax and prepare to load it. Bring your firing arm and the weapon in close to your body, approximately 6 inches from the chest with the muzzle facing up. The workspace is at head level, slightly to the firing side of the head, so the weapon and threat are both in view. Having the pistol in the workspace allows you to manipulate the weapon in a more comfortable and accessible position. It also allows you to see the weapon when manipulating it. With the weapon in the workspace, insert the magazine, keeping the flat of the magazine on the flat of the magazine well. With an overhand grip, rack the slide fully to the rear with the support hand and release it. Conduct a press or brass check by slightly pulling the slide to the rear to make sure a round is in the chamber. One method is to grab the lower receiver under the barrel with the support hand, keeping the firing thumb in place and rotate the firing fingers up over the top of the pistol, grasping near the rear sight, pulling back slightly on the slide to see the chambered round. Once the pistol has been loaded, make sure it is decocked and in the carry position and reholstered. With the pistol in your firing hand, move to the workspace, remove the magazine, and secure it. Rack the slide fully to the rear to eject the round out of the chamber. Do not try to catch the round. This could be dangerous if the primer of the round is struck by something while being ejected out. Instead, let it hit the ground. Lock the slide to the rear and visibly and physically inspect the chamber to ensure it is empty. When conducting a reload, officers should try to keep the movements as simple as possible. When the non-firing hand comes off the pistol to retrieve the magazine, it should go to the center of the body and move down to the belt line. The hand should then sweep across the belt to the magazine holder and retrieve it properly. If this motion is conducted every time, it will become a conditioned response and will be replicated under extreme stress. The rapid reload is used during an engagement when the pistol runs out of ammunition. Take your finger off the trigger and index it on the trigger guard or receiver. Two things need to happen simultaneously. Your support hand comes off the weapon and begins to sweep the primary magazine pouch as your firing hand depresses the magazine release, dropping the empty magazine to the ground and bringing the weapon in and muzzle up to your workspace. Insert a fresh magazine by placing the flat of the magazine spine on the flat of the magazine well. Firmly push the magazine into the well until the magazine is seated. With the weapon still in the workspace, release the slide, reaching over the top of the slide with your non-firing hand grasping the top of the slide with your fingers and thumb or meaty portion of your thumb and forcibly pulling the slide to the rear with your support hand while pushing forward with your firing hand and release. The overhand method is a preferred method due to two reasons. The location of the slide and technique is the same regardless of the type of pistol being used. Remember that when you need to reload, that is your primary task. You cannot get accurate fire on a threat until the gun is loaded and in battery. Tactical reloading is used at any time when there is no immediate danger, but the handgun is not fully loaded and the shooter has the opportunity to reload. Take your finger off the trigger. Place your hand on the next full magazine in the ammunition pouch. Withdraw the fresh magazine from the pouch with the support hand and press the magazine release button with the firing hand, letting the partially depleted magazine drop to the palm of the support hand. Use the ring and pinky finger to retain the partial magazine. Insert the fresh magazine, guiding it into the magazine well with the index finger. Place the used magazine into a pocket or dump pouch. Immediate actions are conducted if the pistol does not fire. Bring the weapon into your workspace, at the same angle as a reload. Tap firmly on the bottom of the magazine to ensure it is fully seated. 
Reach over the slide with your support hand. Grip the slide with four fingers on one side and the meaty portion of your palm on the other. Roll the pistol slightly to the right and violently rack the slide to the rear and release it. After you have racked the slide, reestablish a two-handed grip. Do a thumb sweep of the manual safety to ensure the racking action has not inadvertently placed the pistol on safe and assess if the threat still exists. At the 2 meter line, shooters load their pistols with an 8 round magazine and decock and holster. On signal draw, present weapon to target using the close and ready firing position and engage the chest of the target with two shots within three seconds. Scan the targets left and right of your targets and then decock your pistol to indicate completion of fire. Upon command of recover, holster the pistol and assume the standing interview position. This table will be fired two times. At the 5 meter line, shooters assume a low ready stance. On the signal, present pistol to target using the two handed firing position and engage the chest of the target with two shots within 1.5 seconds. Scan the targets left and right of your target and then decock your pistol to indicate completion of fire. Upon command of recover, assume the standing low ready position. This table will be fired two times. After the second iteration, perform a rapid reload on your own. Scan the targets left and right of your target and then decock your pistol to indicate completion of fire. Upon command of recover, holster the pistol and assume the standing interview position. At the 5 meter line, shooters assume the standing interview position. On signal draw, present the pistol to the target using the two-handed firing position and engage the chest of the target with two shots within three seconds. Scan the targets left and right of your targets and then decock your pistol to indicate completion of fire. Upon command of recover, holster the pistol and assume the standing interview position. This table will be fired one time. At the 5 meter line, shooters assume the standing interview position. On signal draw, present the weapon to the target using the two-handed firing position and engage the chest of the target with two shots and one shot to the head within four seconds. Scan the targets left and right of your target and then decock your pistol to indicate completion of fire. Upon command of recover, holster the pistol and assume the standing interview position. This table will be fired two times. At the 5 meter line, shooters assume the standing interview position. On signal draw, present the weapon to the target using the two-handed firing position and engage the chest of the target with two shots, perform a rapid reload, and fire two more shots within 10 seconds. Scan the targets left and right of your position and then decock your pistol to indicate completion of fire. Upon command of recover, holster the pistol and assume the standing interview position. This table will be fired one time. At the 7 meter line, shooters assume the standing interview position. On signal draw, present the weapon to the target using the two-handed firing position and engage the chest of the target with two shots within three seconds. Scan the targets left and right of your target and decock the pistol to indicate completion of fire. Upon command of recover, holster the pistol and assume the standing interview position. This table will be fired three times. At the 7 meter line, shooters assume the standing interview position. On signal draw, present the weapon to the target using the two-handed firing position and engage the chest of the target with two shots, reload, and fire two more shots within 10 seconds total. Scan the targets left and right of your position and decock the pistol to indicate completion of fire. Upon command of recover, holster the pistol and assume the standing interview position. This table will be fired one time.
At the 7 meter line, shooters assume the standing interview position. On signal draw, present the weapon to the target using the two-handed firing position and engage the target with two shots to the chest and one shot to the head within five seconds. Scan the targets left and right of your target and decock the pistol to indicate completion of fire. Upon command of recover, holster the pistol and assume the standing interview position. This table will be fired two times. At the 10 meter line, shooters assume the standing interview position. On signal draw, present the weapon to the target using the two-handed firing position and engage the chest of the target with two shots within four seconds. Scan the targets left and right of your target and decock the pistol to indicate completion of fire. After the first iteration, perform a rapid reload on your own. Scan the targets left and right of your target and then decock your pistol to indicate completion of fire. Upon command of recover, Holster the pistol and assume the standing interview position. This table will be fired two times. At the 15 meter line, shooters assume the standing interview position. On signal draw, present the weapon to the target using the two-handed firing position and begin to move directly towards your target while staying on line with shooters left and right of your position. The command to fire will be given at approximately the 10 meter line. Engage the chest of the target with two shots per command. Upon arrival of the 5 meter line, or on the command stop, scan the targets left and right of your target and decock the pistol to indicate completion of fire. Upon command of recover, holster the pistol and assume the standing interview position. This table will be fired two times. At the 25 meter line, shooters assume the standing interview position. On signal, present the weapon to the target using the two-handed standing or kneeling firing position and engage the chest of the target with two shots within eight seconds. Scan the targets left and right of your target from the kneeling position and decock the pistol to indicate completion of fire. Upon command of recover, holster the pistol, stand, and assume the standing interview position. This table will be fired three times.